Yo, what's getting it? I'm back with the video. Nice to see you. Week. I had multiple videos lined up for what I was going to do. And, you know, sadly, one of them did not work out. The video that I was going to react to and post on the channel was part two of the seven deadly sins as honestly what if you're watching my videos at all please make one for tiktokers please uh but sadly that video had to be scrapped because of uh misfortunate events <laughs> i guess you could say but i got another video for y'all a rapper got a $20 tattoo of Anne Frank, and we're going to see what that's all about. Yeah, man. Anne Frank, bro. When the Anne Frank face tattoo first went viral back in 2017, articles provided only a brief description of the person wild enough to do it. So we lined up a full interview with the rapper to get the full story of the Anne Frank face tattoo. When the idea first came about, Arnold is Dead had recently dropped out of college. So then I tried the college thing. I tried. I, I didn't I didn't make it past the first semester. And was couch surfing around Los Angeles by creating free music for any artist who'd let him stay over. At around the same time, Arnold began to notice the rise of the SoundCloud rap genre. He had the smoke perps, the little pumps, the ski masses, the XXX Tentacion. After which he began to emulate that kind of lifestyle. However, there was one thing he was missing which characterized almost every artist from that era. Face tattoos. Co had gotten the Mona Lisa on his- Bro, you didn't have to have face tattoos. Bro, Denzel Craig did not have face tattoos. One of the artists that came out of that era, Lil Yachty didn't have face tattoos. Like, could have not had face tattoos. Probably would have been. Yeah, but he probably could have been cool. But let's do this. Okay, I'm done. That's that's enough ASMR. His neck, Blueface had gotten Benjamin Franklin on his cheek, yet Arnold is Dead was looking to make an even bigger statement. As a college dropout with no permanent residence, Arnold didn't have the best relationship with his family. Your mom kicks you out of the house. She thinks you're a piece of shit. Your dad doesn't. He thinks you're a piece of shit. None of your siblings talk to you. Which not only led to a problem with substances, but also a bout of deep depression. Got to the point when when you're young and you're under, you know what I'm saying, the influence, you're not making the clearest of decisions. You're not, you know, it's, it's a really dark place it was at this point that arnold realized he wanted a permanent reminder that someone this one tattoo would probably be been... no never mind we wouldn't have this video if he didn't have this hand break tattoos else always had it worse than him and as a result he chose a portrait of someone who'd had it worse than everybody else later stating in an interview with the sun there are people in history that didn't have the power to control to actually do things they wanted to do with their lives to be stuck in a house and end up dying dude i'm dying to make music that's the way i look at it it's very black and white recognized as one of the world's most famous tragedies arnold became certain that he wanted anne frank on his face so then the eureka light bulb moment where i thought i was gonna blast it on my face so it could be like a reminder where I was like whenever you feel down and bad bro like on him Frank bro like it was like a like a like a thing for me although instead of going to a professional tattoo studio where he instead opted for a much riskier location I go to my friend that was living in Pomona his name's Ryan I love this kid his brother does tattoos out the house and I, yeah I run to Brian's brother's house and I tell him about my genius plan and he's like so how much money do you have and I was like 20 bucks <laughs> Bro, yo. <laughs> On the 20th of August, 2007. I'm sorry, I just had to sit inside. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but at the same time, it's like, that's just so weird. 
so weird. Like, why? Like, why? That's just so weird. 2017 for a home job price of $20, the Anne Frank face tattoo was finished, prompting an instant response from those who knew him. Can someone tell me why Teddy got a tattoo of Anne Frank big as on his face? Why? With many others echoing a similar sentiment. This is so irresponsible and frankly I do not approve. How ignorant do people gotta get for attention now, while others made the argument that everybody should be allowed to make their own choices. I mean you didn't do it so why do you care what other people do? That's just hating if you don't like it, you don't have to respond. Despite this initial burst of public attention, Arnold maintained that he hadn't orchestrated this to go viral. I didn't think this was going to be a viral thing. Bro, I was moving off my like heart. It wasn't a try to be like a viral thing. I was really into tattoos. I wanted to always be completely tattooed, inked up head to toe. You see what I'm saying? Yet the uniqueness of the piece certainly helped to expand his network, becoming closely acquainted with XXXTentacion and others. I started working with Ski Mask. I started working with Trippy Red. I started working with Warhols. I start working with Cole Bennett. Which eventually led to his now infamous meetup with the one and only Lil Xan. Arnold explained that he met Lil Xan while hanging out backstage at a festival. And we see that Lil Xan's there, so I just introduced myself. Like, we're just hanging out, we're chilling, we're smoking. During which Lil Xan saw the tattoo and gave him a funny nickname. We we're just shooting jokes and he was like, this is like Xan Frank, like this is, this is wild. This on its own wasn't anything interesting. <laughs> However, when somebody from the media began talking to the two, their evening took an unexpected turn. Hey yo Lil Xan, who you hanging out with? Yo, this is my boy Zam Frank. That's it, the internet broke. That was it. All the fo- Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh shoot. Imagine it. I don't, my friends don't give me a nickname. Like they don't, they don't have a specific nickname. That they gave me like they they all go by my last name so if i'm meeting their spouse or their parents for the first time you'd be like yeah this is my boy jackson right here and he he's cool he's cool like this is my boy jackson it, it's never this is uh this is my boy jackson we call him baby hulk I, I, like, there's a couple of my friends that we, we would never, never call them by their, uh, real name for us. Like, there's one of my friends, we call him Shady, and I will introduce him to my family as Shady. It, it will never be by his first name. <laughs> but, like, Zan Frank, bro, that's crazy. Photos that went viral and to memes and everything came from them taking pictures of that day because they were like they were they were just capturing that exact moment. Rapper gets tattoo of Anne Frank on his face because he's dying for his music. Arnold Gutierrez, who goes by the name Zan Frank and Arnold is dead, stunned rap fans with a huge inking of the Jewish diarist. Articles such as this one helped Arnold's social media to explode. After that, I wake up the next day and I have like 15k followers and the whole internet just wrecking my shit. <laughs> <laughs> With the virality of the situation then leading to an Instagram post by Lil Xan announcing that Arnold was the new third member of Xanarchy. The post was amplified further when Adam22 reposted the image to his Twitter with the caption Mood Anne Frank Face Tattoo before getting Arnold in a no jumper video titled He Got an Anne Frank Face Tattoo. This is the legend this is that everybody's the been talking about. Yeah, Anne Frank oh. in the, in the <laughs> Give me your version of why you got the Anne Frank Face Tattoo. Let's hear it. What, what, what's my version? I don't know. Let's hear your version. I don't got a version, dog. Oh, well, Zan Frank, dog, actually, Zanarchy. That's what, is that what inspired it? <laughs> well, now I'm at Zanarchy all day. Okay. Despite this, Arnold explained that people often didn't recognize who it was. I mean, they don't care about No Jumper like that, but at the time when No, like, the SoundCloud era, No Jumper was still big and popping. That would have been perfect time to actually explain explain why and how you got the tattoo in the first place um yeah he got he got blasted i've never heard of this dude so it's very interesting i'm trying to i'm trying to tune in but like damn, damn.
was in the image. I get funny ones like, uh, is that your daughter? Is that your mom? Is that your girlfriend? And then I'm like, it's Anne Frank. Some people don't know who Anne Frank is. Which is surprising as a now deleted Reddit post of the tattoo received 4.8k upvotes on the ATBGE subreddit, which is a space dedicated to awful taste but great execution for everything that displays quality craftsmanship in the least elegant way possible. Not a bad compliment for a $20 home job. Others on the post expressed concern over his future employment prospects, yet the reply suggested that he might qualify for some niche roles stating, tell that to the HR department at the Holocaust Museum, as well as standing at the exit of I realized there was a difference between Denzel Curry and uh, all these other SoundCloud rappers. I forgot. See, see, uh, everybody knew Denzel Curry by the wicks. If you don't know what wicks are, that's the type of dreads that he had. These are wicks right here, bro. Those are wicks. That's a wick, bro. His hair right there, bro. This the dreads. Those are wicks. I'm done with that. This is he had wicks, and he had gold in his mouth, and he came from Raider Glen, so I guess that makes sense why he was already big and popping before. I, I guess SoundCloud just made him more mainstream, I guess, but not full mainstream. No, nah, Ultimate was a fire ass song, bro. It was fire. That's, that was a good song. But before Ultimate came out, that. Before Ultimate came out, when he had his first album, like his first first album, that shit was way better than what Ultimate could have been. The Zell album was good. Imperial. So all the way up to Melt My Eyes, but people just keep on sleeping on, bro. Nah, it's different for J.I.D. J.I.D. is... But yeah. Offering pictures with his face might be the best bet for a career. What the internet thought wasn't of interest to Arnold anyway, as he only cared about the opinion of one specific person. The only person's reaction is my mother's. She looked at me, bro, and she was like, oh, you're still my son, bro. I don't, I don't see that. Like nothing, nothing changed. And if anything, the situation helped Arnold to take care of his family, given he was now being presented with new opportunities, which he previously hadn't had access to. Now I had an opportunity to be able to walk into rooms that I wouldn't be able to walk into. Like I said, it wasn't the intention, but the fact that it happened like that, that's what made it 10 times better. One such instance was a meeting with a top executive at Republic Records, who turned out to be Jewish, but found the piece to be quite endearing. We took him to a meeting at Republic. Clearly, you know, she's like, shout out to the Jewish people. Yo, she was <laughs> Jewish. And Frank, she was about to cry. Yeah, she was. Arnold then gave a description of that day in his own words. She comes from a Jewish background and she's one of the big label like that she brings a lot of big artists there you could google her and she has a really big background in that and we really had a heart to heart also adding that most people are polite in real life and have no problems with the piece outside of the internet i've never even had someone like use it as an insult the only thing i've seen is like comments online and like people just bashing it at around the same time arnold also got a zanarchy tattoo on his neck which is both strange and unfortunate as he never even joined the crew officially and the relationship between arnold and lil zan came to an end only three months after after their first meeting. He's like not really part of Xanarchy no more. Really? Yeah, he's part yeah. of like uh, very, like very rare. Very, 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 very. Oh, okay. It's cool yeah, though, but It's yeah, cool, it's like we cool with them, but yeah. you know. Yeah, well, was it the Anne Frank face tattoo that was too much? 
No. Arnold then explained that he was removed from Zanarchy after the group's management told him this. I had gotten kicked out from the group because they said I was like a bad influence to Lil Zan because I was like partying really hard. Which is interesting as Arnold has cleaned up his act quite significantly since getting the tattoo for the first time. I'm a lot more mellow now after having a daughter, after cleaning up and stuff like that. You know, I haven't taken Zans in a long time. Probably been like almost two years now. I'm not gonna continue doing Xanax and I'm not, you know what I'm saying, gonna push that agenda. I don't think that's cool. Within the last month, Arnold did a photo shoot with the up-and-coming Jewish rapper BLP Kosher, who was recently interviewed by Nardwa, also getting a small feature in his Special K music video during the line, I'm a pass the blunt to Anne Frank. Arnold has also recently rebranded to La Pension, which is Spanish for DJ child support, combining his old skill of producing music <laughs> oh no. DJ child support, bro. That's hilarious and ironic. DJ child support. Hey, nobody took that name except for that man. That's hilarious. That's gonna stick with me for a little bit, for a while. DJ Child Support. Oh yeah, y'all heard about uh? No, I'm not even gonna go into it. Crazy. Music with his love for Latin culture, ultimately hoping to spread a positive message. Instead of like pushing this whole agenda that everybody was following as a trend with uh, the drugs and all that stuff, let's let's make people dance, enjoy life, feel good about themselves. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that was a little quick video for you. Um, this went on for about 17 minutes, but not a pretty quick video for you. Uh, I do appreciate you. I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your days and all that good stuff. Make sure you are staying safe. It's still hot outside. Very, very hot. Like, as soon as you step on grass, as soon as you step on turf or step on anything, it's going to be hot. But, oh, the pile of clothes? The pile of clothes? Yeah, the pile of clothes is, uh, has increased. I, I recently did just finish washing clothes. <laughs> yep, I recently did finish washing clothes, but there's only one thing I truly hate. And that's folding clothes. <laughs> I hate folding clothes. So, uh, right after I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and suffer folding clothes. But uh, I catch you guys later. Been a good one. Stay safe and peace.